Hello, I'm Sochin Lim Gai and welcome to Be My Guest, the program that brings you successful stories of institutions and entrepreneurs in both international and domestic arena. Today we will be talking to our guests about a very interesting exhibition that will educate us about the history of the Thai flag and how it has evolved throughout the Thai history. Let's hear more about it now. Thank you for joining us today. First of all, let me ask you to introduce yourselves to us. So my name is Nakarin Risei Panishkir. I'm from Vajra with College, uh, Year 11. Okay. My name is Kriya Satrak. Uh, I'm in Matrium 5. And I'm also from Vajra with College. Okay. Uh, my name is Pawat Songkhor Panit. I'm also a uh, student from Bachira College. Okay, so here today we are at the flag exhibition at your college actually. So can you first tell us how the Thai flag was born? So the, the Thai flag was born during the late UTR period. Mm. Uh, the flag was actually born by the French because okay. the French wants to do the trade deal with us. But in order to do that, in order to the French ship to do, uh, to come into Thailand, mm -hmm. they, they want us to give and to give the salute, salute to them. But in order to do the salute, we need to raise the flag of each country. So okay. uh, the French uh, raised their flag, and we we raised Holland flag because back then we did not have the flag. I see. But the French and the Holland. Uh, uh, were angry, uh, angry to each other. So uh, uh, the French demanded us to lower the Holland flag and find any type of fabric to raise. So we find the red, the red fabric, and we raise it, and that's it. How? And that is how it became the flag of our nation, the first one. I see. So the red flag was considered the first flag of Thailand at that yeah. time. So during the years, there was an evolution of the Thai flag. So can you tell us about the process of this evolution? Well, so the process of the evolution is quite simple. Okay. But by the way, as he said, it started uh, during the time of the UGR. We started with the red common flags. Okay. And then we move on to the King Rama one. Mm -hmm. At the time, uh, we added the chakra, or Ramayana weapon, which represent the undefeatable of Thai flag. I see. Which, yeah. And then, uh, to, for the King Rama too, we added the white elephant in the middle of the chakra, mm -hmm. which at that time, uh, the white elephant is vulnerable okay. and really important to the royal family. Mm -hmm. And then, at the King Rama five, uh, we have removed the chakra for widely range, for people, normal people can use, mm -hmm. apart from the Royal Highness, because chakra is the weapon for the king only. I see. Yeah. And then the last one at the time of King Rama VI, he changed it to be more nationally. Okay. Then he removed everything and then he started off with the white and red pattern. I see. The white represent the religious uh -huh. and the red represent the bloodshed mm. of our generation back in time. And then at last, he saw that it's not that nice, so he changed it again mm. and added blue in the middle because he likes blue. I see. That's the point. His personal liking was blue, so he added yeah. blue. Yeah. So that's the Thai flag today as well. Yes. Yeah. I see. Well, last year we celebrated the 100th anniversary of the Thai Rong flag. So was there any activities or celebrations to celebrate this occasion? Uh, yes, there is an event in the government house okay. which is celebrating the 100th anniversary of the flag. Mm -hmm. So in uh, in the government uh, in the eight a.m. every morning, yeah. uh, they raise the flag mm -hmm. to represent the Thai country and the Thai flag. I see. So that was the celebration. Was there any celebrations in the school as well? We uh, uh, actually there's like no uh, like actual celebration, but we usually like uh, play the national anthem every day uh, in the morning. So that's like the most important part of the celebration for our school. I see. So can you tell us the importance of the Thai flag here? Uh, for our nation, the most important part, I think it represents how, how to be like Thai people. Mm. It also represents like how our nation came to become like a country. Mm. It's also like the symbol of like, like the major part, or, like the major heart mm -hmm. of 
of the people of Thailand without the flag, we feel like we don't have nations. I see. So it's kind of like the representation of Thai people, like the king. Mm. So what is the actual meaning of the Thai Rong flag? We already know that the colors, but what is the actual meaning? The actual meaning? Um, basically, basically, we use like the color to represent because based on the Thai tradition, each mm. color has its own meaning, mm -hmm. like as like he said. So yeah. the red we represent like the bloodshed of our like past generation who yeah. sacrificed themselves mm -hmm. for our nation like during wars. Yeah. Uh, the white one we like represent the, uh, the Buddhism. So like Buddh Buddhist is uh, our major religions in Thailand and the blue one is uh, King Rama favorite color so he added into the middle. So it's kind of represent like King is like uh, the, the one who governed the countries and like the middle part and like the middle heart of the countries too. I see. Well, thank you for the information for this break. We'll talk more about the different things at the exhibition later. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Sawadee ka. Sawadee ka. Thank you for joining us today. First of all, can I ask you to introduce yourselves to us? Yes, uh, I am uh, Assistant Professor Surabut Kikuson, the Headmaster of uh, Vajrawood College. I'm Rakshanon Emiram. I'm in M4 slash 2. I'm from Vajrawood College. Okay. My name is Tasmai Patsunakun. I'm a student of Atshawood College. I see. Well, we already talked a little bit with your friends before that about the history of the Thai flag. So now we're going to talk about the exhibition itself. So can you tell us how the idea of the exhibition started? Okay, the idea of uh, this exhibition uh, started from the, uh, the office of a uh, prime minister. Okay. Uh, which uh, have the policy to uh, promote about the Thai national flag mm -hmm. and to uh, commemorate the activities of the King Rama the VI. Okay, yes. I see. So it started to commemorate His Majesty the King Rama VI. Yes, uh, from, uh, it started from uh, last year. Because uh, okay. last year is an uh, anniversary of 100 years ah, okay. of a, a, Thong, a Thai Rong national flag. I see. Yeah. So, about the exhibition a little bit, can you give us an overview of the exhibition? Yeah, sure. So, the exhibition will be uh, separated into five parts. Okay. So, the first first part mm -hmm. will be about the King Rama the Sixth. Okay. And his biology, mm. and about the Thai flag. <coughs> yeah. And the second section will be how we use the flags. Okay. And the importance of the flags. I see. Yeah. And the third one will be important flags of Thai, Thailand okay. and when, when, where and how do we use them. I wish, I see. And the fourth one would be the honor to, to be proud to be born in Thailand and to be proud of Thai flags. I see. Yeah. And the fifth one, fifth one is how we use it in like more formal, formal ways like, like uh, di diplomacy. So, since you know there are five sections here, so can you give us some of the highlights? Yep, so the main highlight is, is that our student is the guide who brings you around in the expedition. Ah, so okay. our students get new experiences, new mm -hmm. knowledge, and the confidence to speak to the pub public. Yep. I see. What about the sections here? You mentioned earlier that there are five sections. Yep. So can you tell us a little bit in depth about which you know sections is the highlight or what section is like oh so the important flags mm. will have like the the real artifacts of the flags that have been used and the and the meanings and the use of it okay yeah. and if you have new knowledge that no one have ever knows okay can you give us some examples so yes like the scalp flag so mm. it's it's quite new and it had been cancelled Cancelled. Yeah. So there's no more to see in these days. So. We actually have never seen it. Yeah. yeah. What do they use it for? Oh, like celebration, and it's like it's 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 for like a scout scout ceremony, mm. and and the flag on the left is like the flags for each province. Yeah. Which I see. Has been cancelled by now. I see, and I see that there's a little bit different language on the flag as well. Oh, yeah. Well, what language is that and why is it on the Thai flag? Oh, it's Khom. Okay. So which is Khmer or Yeah. Okay. 
So it's a very old language. And okay. That is the king names on the flags. Ah. Yeah, and okay. There's like the Bot Pahun that we have been praying. Everyone knows Bot Pahun. Yeah. Okay, I see. So you know, we talked about these flags that have been cancelled. With my own curiosity here, why is there a tiger or the symbol that's on the flag? Why is it on those flags? So, this the symbol that means that like the king symbol. Mm. It's a symbol for the king's Rama six. Okay, even the tiger. Yes, the tiger means like scout. The ah, scout. I see. I see. And you mentioned earlier that there is one section that the Thai flag is used for diplomacy or some other formal occasions. Can you give us, you know, some information about this section? Oh, yeah. So, like, when you have like, like, more formal ways of like having uh, contracts mm. and trade trading. Yeah. Yep. So, we usually have our flags and. Mm. The other nation flags. Yes. Yep. So we have a special way to use it. So you can come and learn in this exp expedition. I see. So lastly, another thing. So the Thai flag which are, we are currently using now is designed basically by King Rama the Six. So you told us that there is his biography as well in the exhibition. So can you give us a brief overview for those of us who who's watching right now and don't really know about the history, about how he designed or about his life here? Uh, yeah. So the red mean the 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 nation, mm. the country. Uh, the white mean the the uh, religion, and the blue mean the kings, I which see. is his its birth color. I see. I see. So, the next question is for you here. So, the exhibition is at the college. It's held at yes. the college. So, why is the venue chosen for this exhibition? Okay. As as you may know that uh, this uh, college, Virtual College, was uh, founded by uh, King Rama the Six, mm -hmm. uh, which is the same king who uh, give the right wrong flags to I the see. Thai to the Thailand. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the secretary. General of the uh, Prime Minister Office consider that uh, is very suitable uh. and it's a good occasion and for the sustainability of the uh, exhibition of uh, Thai national flags to uh, you know to go on forever no matter what uh, government in charge. I so uh, the permanent uh, secretary want to one uh, Wood and the King of the Sixth Foundation to uh, okay. handle this exhibition forever. I see. I see. Yes. So you, you mentioned earlier that last year yes. was the 100th anniversary yes. of, of the Thai flag. So why is it celebrated this year and not last year? Or there was other celebrations for this It's, it's also ha had a celebration uh, last year for the uh, 100 years anniversary. But okay. it's, just, uh, it's, it's just a ceremony at the uh, government house. Ah, and that's, okay. that's all. I see. Uh, so uh, this year, the government want to uh, set up the exhibition okay. to uh, let the young uh, student to uh, learn more about mm -hmm. the Thai national flag and I the history see. and the activities of uh, King, King Rama the Six. I see. Yes. So you, you mentioned young students. So is the exhibition only open for students or open for the public as well? Uh, we mainly focus uh, for the students, but we also uh, open for the public okay. as well. Yeah. So supposedly if our viewers, let's say some foreigners or some of the Thai people out there is interested yes. in this information, can they come and visit the exhibition? Is yes, there sure. any charge or what is the opening and closing times? Yeah. Uh, the open time is uh, Monday, Tuesday, okay. Thursday and Friday. Ah, okay, yes. so Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday is off? It's off. Okay. Yeah. And, and, the for, time? and um, for the public holiday also, okay. it's, it's closed. Yeah. From and 9, 9 a.m. until uh, 16 p.m. Okay. And is there any you know, ticket fee or anything? No, it's uh, free of charge. I see. So if they want to know more information about this exhibition or how to get to this place, where can they find more information about this, yeah, this you can exhibition? contact uh, directly uh, to the uh, office of the Prime Minister. Okay. Yeah. I see. Well, okay, thank you so much for joining us in this break, and we'll talk more about the exhibition later. Okay.
ครับ Welcome back to the program. In our third break, we are joined by another guest. So, can you introduce yourself to us, please? My name is t o t o y o t Pachra p o n g p l i n I'm the M4 student at w a t e r s College. So, we already talked about the highlights about the exhibition here, and mentioned earlier that the guides at the exhibition are students from the college. So, can you tell us, as the headmaster, why did you decide to choose your students to be the guides at the exhibition? Yes. Uh, because, uh, as I just mentioned on uh, before, that uh, our purpose of w a t e r l o o College is mm -hmm. to build up the uh, character okay. uh, of the students. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, this kind of uh, activities is the best way to uh, practice them okay. and to create the uh, character. I see. You know, and uh, they have to uh, be informed and know how to explain okay. you know, the uh, things to the others, I and see. they have to do a research before mm. they can of be a course. young guide. Yes. Yeah. I that's see. that's a key point. I see. Yes. So, what is the process of selection like here? Is there, you know, you go up to the students and you find suitable students, or they come up to, you know, sign up for for this job, or or how does it work here? Okay, uh, it's a club, in okay. uh, many clubs in uh, Westwood College. Okay. And one of them is a uh, we call is a young guy club. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. And the students can. Uh, Uh, apply. Can apply yeah. by themselves, mm. or the other way is that the teachers mm. uh, will select them okay. and train them. Okay. okay. So, what is the purpose of this young guy club? Is it because that you have a lot of exhibitions like this, or what is the purpose? Uh, the main purpose is uh, we will let the the students to uh, like a tour guide of the school. Ah, because, that's the uh, main purpose. Yes, because our uh, mm. school is a uh, very large. Uh, Many many uh, buildings and uh, rich of a uh, history. I see, I see. So, you know, there are tour guides here with sitting with us here. So, can you tell us about your roles and responsibilities here? So, our roles are to at, at first we learn about this exhibition, like how Thai flag w e r e start, mm -hmm. how the evolutions of it, and how to use it, okay. and the other things. And then we come here to be the instructor, to be the guide, and we give an instructions and explain to the audience. And of course, we need to entertain them because okay. if there is too much data, yeah. the audience will be, you know, boring. Of course, yes. And yeah, that's our job to make the audience interest in the exhibitions. I see. So, so how do you, you know designate each person for each you know highlight or each section here? Do you swap or you you know assign that person to stay at that section all the time? Well, it's kind of like that, but we all learn like together to we we all know what exhibitions are, what what kind of in, information that is, but. If someone or who are good at each sections, mm -hmm. that one will be decided for that section. I see. I see. So, what is the process of selection? Is like, is everyone in the club joins in this exhibition, or there is a selection process? Well, everyone do it, and in the club. Yeah, everyone in the club do it, and we will swap because they got many days on exhibition, but so. We will change each person, each each group swap to and for like every day, each day. So there will be different person to explain this exhibitions. And we can volunteer. Ah, uh, so yeah. if you're not in the club but you you're yeah, interested, you can volunteer yeah. as well. Yeah, you can volunteer and then help the club. Okay. Yeah. So for the volunteers. Who wants to be part of the exhibition here? Do you have a training program for them as well? As you know, they don't have as much experience as the people in the club. Yes, we uh, actually have like a movement class, so okay. we know how to move and make it more natural. Okay. If, and they give us advice to be a good, how to be a good guide. Okay. And who who runs these classes? Is it a teacher or, or oh, it's you guys? We actually invite like a professional ah. from the outside college. I to see. come and give us 
like a class. I see. Very interesting. So apart from this exhibition, you also take you know visitors for for guides in the school as well. So is it something similar to to the exhibition, or in your experience, is something totally different? Uh, it's it's kind of different things mm -hmm. because you know when you invite someone and they stay with you for a long time, yeah. that makes you like have that relationship. You feel familiar with yeah. that person. So it's easier to explain something to mm. them. Like it's like we're just friends, we know each other. Okay. Yeah, but if it's like totally different people, it's totally strangers. Mm. It's have that pressure on you that yeah, they're looking on you. They, yeah, of they're course. waiting for you to fail. I yeah. <laughs> okay, that's very negative, but I'm sure that they, they find you very admirable to actually know this yeah. much information and giving it to them. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about your experience here as a tour guide? As you know, it's something very unique that you have to take, as you mentioned, strangers and young students and telling them about history and information. How do you feel? I feel great about it. Mm. It's like giving like the next generation, like our, our friends and every student in the country, like new knowledge about mm. the flags, so they can use them correctly and know the importance of the flags. I see. What about you? Well, it feels more like you being the teacher. I see. Which is, you know, a new experience, telling something to strangers, mm. which will, will kind of hard. To, yeah, of course. Yeah, to let, let them trust you, mm. to be more like professional. Yes, of course. I see. And you know, since this exhibition is very, as you mentioned earlier, full of information and it's more historical than anything, did you take a long time to learn about all the information and the facts behind this exhibition? Yes, quite a, quite a while actually. How long did it take you guys? Like, we have like this lesson for like the knowledge about this expedition mm -hmm. for like nearly a month before the, the real one. Okay, yes. I see. So you took around a month to learn about the yes. exhibition. Yes. That's that's quite some time here. Yeah. So so back to you here. Yes. So you know, other than you know, visitors who come here or students who come here, they get to know more about the Thai flags. What else can they expect to learn from this exhibition? Uh, most important thing about uh, this exhibition mm -hmm. uh, is to make the people proud mm. of a Thai national flag and proud to be Thai. I see. It's, a, it's the main thing mm -hmm. to uh, the government to help, uh, help is, uh, this exhibition mm -hmm. at Wash Road College. And when the people uh, come to Wash Road College, they can see the, our buildings, our atmosphere, mm -hmm. you know, about, and uh, as I just mentioned, rich history yes. about King Rama VI. Mm. Yeah, that's the most important thing. I see. Yeah. So what about the feedback from the visitors here? What is it like? Is it positive or what do they say about this exhibition? Yeah, the feedback uh, is very good. Mm -hmm. And uh, students uh, get more information and more knowledge okay. about the Thai national flag. I and uh, besides the Thai national, national flag, we have uh, more uh, okay. flags. For example, as uh, our student just mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, we also have uh, the scout flag. It's a history of uh, King Rama the Six. I see. So other than flags, other than the Thai flags, yes. you get to learn more about different type of flags yes. and the history of the royal family, basically, yeah, King Rama correct. VI. Yeah. So what about the benefits of this exhibition for the visitors? As you already mentioned that, you know, it makes us feel proud. But how does it benefit the students themselves here and the students who visit this place? Mm -hmm. I, I, uh, as uh, our student just mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, they learn about the uh, to share mm. to share the knowledge that he uh, that they just uh, do a research mm -hmm. you know and uh, to build up the character I see. of them you know to be uh, can can do like a public speaking mm. in front of the stranger in front of the many uh, many people mm. that that's uh, to, as I just mentioned to to build up the character. That's the most important thing of uh, this uh, college. I see. So, you know, 
as your students have mentioned earlier, that they had to prepare themselves and you know, ask people to come in and teach them with the acting class. How does the school or, or the teachers here help support them? Uh, we can uh, support them because uh, some of the class they have to skip the class. Yeah. You know to attend. Of course, yes. Yeah, yeah. The special event. Mm. So uh, we have to arrange a special uh, tutor or ah. special uh, class maybe uh, in the night time because uh, we are the oh, boarding so school. They have to learn at night. Yeah, because we are boarding school. Okay. They have to stay. They they stay at the in our school anyway. Okay. You know, so they don't have to uh, travel around uh, from school to the house. I yeah. see. So it's full time after work here yeah. and then back to study. Yeah, that's correct. I see. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing with us the information. The exhibition does not only serve as an educational journey for visitors, but also at the same time reminds us about the importance of Thai history and its culture. In order to honor King Rama VI or King Wachirawut, the exhibition will be held till the end of the month for interested persons to learn more about the national flag of Thailand. And that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. See you again next time. Sawadee